Hey Cancer, it's your turn. It's your girl Dominique with Empathic Guidance and I'm back with another video for you guys today. And today I'm back with your Full Moon and Leo video. Um, If you guys haven't already subscribed to the tribe, please go ahead and do so by hitting that subscribe button plus that post notification bell so that you guys can be notified every single time I post another video or go live. Give this video a big fat thumbs up and leave all your thoughts and opinions down below. Now let's hop straight into y'all full moon and Leo video. Holy Divine Spirit, Angels, Ancestors, and Spirit Guides, please use me as a vessel with clear, concise, channeled messages for the astrological sign of Cancer. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and the North Node for this full moon in Leo spirit. What is it that Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and the North Node needs to release during this full moon in Leo spirit? What is it that Cancer needs to to be releasing energetically in order to make space for what serves them spirit all right so boundaries not setting your boundaries guys i'm getting boundaries in reverse and it could be throwing you off balance so maybe you guys have way too many energies attached to you that's another thing you guys can be releasing is other people's energy anybody's energy that isn't yours go ahead and cleanse that you know through taking you a spiritual bath here so that you can recenter your balance here. Because I am getting some solar plexus and hard chakra works that maybe needs to um need some adjustment or attention right now. We getting masculine energy all over the place. Capricorn got this too. So no matter whether that's the masculine energy within you or if it's an external masculine energy that you might need to release for the time being. For whatever reason, maybe this person crosses your boundaries. Maybe they throw you off balance, you know, um, or maybe you are the masculine cancer that needs to set your boundaries so that you can create more balance in your life. And then there's a need to surrender to something here. All right. So maybe that's surrender to the divine, surrender to whatever your soul has been called to kind of put your boundaries up about. All right, you guys can have Leo, Libra in your chart too because I got that for, I think I got the same thing, uh, boundaries and stuff like that for Libra. Okay, can we get some additional messages for Cancer as it pertains to this spread? Prosperity lies ahead. I'm getting that for a lot of people. I feel like this is going to be a prosperous season um cancer for a lot of these for a lot of astrological signs so i don't know you know whatever is going on it is bringing prosperity especially if you've been doing the inner work and you know especially if you do this inner work because like i said there's a need to set boundaries possibly release some of these additional energies that have been latching and leeching on to yours here you know including a, it could be a specific person or this could be you uh cancer masculine energy that need to release energies from your field in order to gain balance adjustments are required and that's what the, you know before you can receive this abundance like i said maybe you need to free yourself from additional energies that's an important factor when it comes down to receiving this prosperity that lies ahead of you that's why i say surrender maybe you carry in you're carrying burdens that are not yours. You could be carrying doubts that are not yours. And it's because you allowing people to overstep boundaries that need to be set for yourself if you're setting them at all. Cancer, you know. So it's like people that are causing lack in your life for whatever reason. Maybe it's because they have a lack mentality. Maybe it's because they're giving you a lack of energy. So therefore, it's kind of like this energy of you giving this person your energy, not receiving anything in return. So you don't really have the energy to put towards yourself. So it's a time to surrender the idea of something, you know. Like I said, whether this is you, this masculine energy is you, or it's the masculine energy that you harness within you, Cancer, okay? All right, so why is boundaries in reverse here for Cancer spirit? Yeah, happy family. You could be letting your family in. You could be always trying to provide happiness for everybody else. Maybe you give, 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 give of yourself. And, you know, you just want to make everybody happy. Some people can consider you like a people pleaser. Maybe you juggle a lot of tasks just to keep people happy. Maybe you give your last just to keep people happy, you know. 
sometimes you need to learn how to say no. You de you guys can definitely have Libra in your chart or be dealing with a Libra because Libra was getting a very similar um, message of like putting people before themselves, putting people putting other people's burdens and issues before things that you may need to take care of. Why is balance here? Okay, so it's like you need to create balance between being a kind person and being like a pushover of what people would consider like too much of a people pleaser. Okay, so why is balance here? Because it's time for you to close the cycle. It's time for you to close the door on certain things. It could be time for movement. It could be time for relocation. It could be time for travel just to take a vacation or something to that extent. You could you could definitely have more options at a distance possibly here. All right. So, again, and that could be something that you are avoiding because of the people around you. But it's saying that it's time for you to start putting your boundaries up. It shouldn't always be about what make other people happy. If you have if you want to travel the world and embark on new opportunities and options for you, then you should be doing that to make yourself happy right now because I feel like the opportunities are divinely orchestrated for you. All right, why surrender here? What is it that Libra needs to surrender here? Okay, letting go is saying, letting go of things that you don't have clarity on. Like, I feel like, Cancer, it's hard for you to move away from something if you're not 100% clear on it. It's like, if your intuition told you, then, then it is so. Like I said, it's something here that you have quite a bit of anxiety about. You could be worried about, and I feel like it's other people's issues and emotions that are attached to you. So I feel like that's the number one thing that you need to do is call back your energy. Call back your energy here. It's weighing too heavily on you and you need to release it. All right, y'all. Regain your strength and your health. Regain getting a ball rolling on this prosperity that you hoping and wishing for. You know, drop all of these illusions that people are giving you in order to gain your sympathy, in order to gain, you know, that, that kind nature from you. Of wanting to make everybody happy, of wanting to give your energy to everybody, of wanting to spread the joy, whether this is to families, friends, circles, you know, it doesn't matter. But it's like you like to spread the love and happiness. And it's like um, the spirit is saying, pull back that for a second and think about yourself. Yeah. Okay. Adjustments are required. And a lot of it can have to do with your confidence because I already said solar plexus energy and I definitely get the solar plexus energy and sacral energy when it comes down to the queen of wands you know so you guys can have leo in your chart or you could be dealing with a leo but there's definitely a need for changes to be made balance to be um attained certain things to be let go of and certain adjustments to be made um you know in order for you to move forward with this yeah adjustments can definitely be needed to be made Look at this. Like the Queen of Wands doesn't lack confidence. She doesn't lack, period, because she manifests. So with this five of pentacles, like either you can be leaving this person out in the cold or something. Let's see. First, first I want to know why is the five of pentacles here which i didn't do this for anybody else guys but why is the five of pentacles here because prosper so that's where you're at and where you're trying to get is to prosperity but those adjustments have to be made yeah the key to prosperity or the key to getting out of this lack is your confidence okay so that's what the adjustments are redeveloping your strength that self-doubt is not your own. I feel like it's the energy of others here. Yes, the star. Okay? So, again, like I said, it's time for you to call back your energy because you are the star. It's like you already know that your manifest manifestations are due to happen. You just have to realign yourself with it after releasing some things. What is this for of pentacles here, spirit? Yeah, releasing that depression, releasing... um. It's like I said, I feel like it's energy. The sun in reverse, I feel like it's energy that doesn't belong to you. You could be carrying people's depression, carrying people's burdens, carrying people's like 
ill intentions, but I feel like really on the inside, you are peaceful and content. And it's other people's energy that you get in confused with. So it's like energy invasion. And I maybe these people don't even know that. But this can be just people that come to you venting, needing your help, um, always taking from you, draining you dry. You may have to pull back your energy from those individuals or not let their energy be so attached to yours, okay? All right. And it can specifically be a masculine energy, whether you're a male or a female. All right, guys. So I hope that helps somebody. Please like, share, comment, and subscribe. Join the Soul Tribe, and I'll check you guys out on the next one. Peace.